Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can read clonotype tables obtained with MyXCR. Let's start with opening the terminal and we're going to go to the directory that we used in one of the previous videos. Here in the results folder, we have output files from MyXCR analyze command for three samples. Now you can see that for every sample we have three TSV tables, one for each immunoglobulin chain, one for heavy chain, and two for two types of light chains. Let's open one of these files and look what data is stored inside. I'm just going to close the terminal. And open this table. Here you can see an example of an output clonotype table. And keep in mind that uh, the number of the content of the columns may slightly vary based on the preset that you use. Now I'm just going to walk you through all of the columns that we have here and describe what each one of those mean. So the first column is the clone ID, and the clone ID is the end-to-end -end numbering throughout all of the chains in the sample. Thus, every clone has a unique clone ID throughout the sample. The read count is the number of reads that contribute to the clone. The read fraction is the fraction calculated by the number of reads. Then we have unique molecule count, which is the number of UMIs, because this preset was developed for the protocol which has UMIs in it, a Takara Bio BCR kit. So we have uh, the number of UMIs here. We have the molecule fraction, which is the fraction calculated by the number of UMIs. The next column is the target sequence. Now, the target sequence is the sequence by which the clonotypes are assembled. In that case, we use the full-length preset, which means that the region used to assemble clonotypes was the full VZJ sequence. That's what we see up here, the full VZJ region. Then we have target qualities, which is the FRAT quality for the sequence. And here we see four columns with gene segment scores. Each column represents a specific gene segment, like V hits, D hits, J hits, and C hits. Now, in the round brackets, you can see the score for the alignment. And also, you might have noticed that all genes here are represented by one single allele, which is the double zero one. Mike's here built-in reference does not have alleles because from our experience most of the reported alleles are misleading. But instead of that, Mike's here has a functionality to restore alleles directly from the data if needed. But by the default, the clonotype table does not have alleles. And of course, if you're going to use other references which has alleles in it, like NGT reference or any other, you will get the allele number according to that reference right away in the clonotype table. Now, the next set of columns represents alignment. And to talk about that, I'm going to use a cheat sheet. So let me just narrow that. And I'm going to open the browser. I'm going to go to mycr.com. And here I'm going to go to the docs, scroll down, mutations and coding. I'm not going to dive into that, but here is the description on how to read the alignments columns. Here you can see the reference points of the alignments and all of the mutations relative to the reference. And we have these alignments columns for all of the gene segments. 
Now, then we have a set of columns with nucleotide sequence for all of the frameworks and CDR regions, along with the minimal quality of the nucleotides in that sequence. The next portion of columns represents the amino acid sequence for the same regions. So we have the amino acid for all of the frameworks and all of the CDRs. And finally, the last column is reference points. And to read this one, I'm also going to show you a cheat sheet that you can find in the docs MyXCR export and just scroll all the way down here. So here you can see all of these numbers explained. Briefly, each number marks the location of every region on the target sequence, like the beginning of the framework one, the beginning of the CDA one region. And all of the numbers are explained here on myxr.com. Now that's it for today, and thank you for watching.